What's up? What's up, everybody? It is balance patch time. Balance patch. I'm so excited. I heard that the... I didn't take a look at everything just yet. I, I heard a few things that the druids and dryads... If you have druids and dryads, this is the balance patch for you. Because, oh my god, they apparently buffed the living bejesus out of him. Uh, which is great, which is what we always say, like, you're like, oh, should I feed this, should I feed that? You never know if it's gonna get buffed. If it's usually, if it's one of the weaker units, it gets a buff. Eventually, at some point in time, people complain enough that they actually listen, and they've actually, I feel like they've been listening more lately. The last balance patch was good, this one, they seem to at least are trying to buff the things that people are complaining about. Which is great. Uh, so let's take a look and see. Oh, it's gonna be a I feel like it's gonna be an in-depth video. This is one of the videos to like have on in the background and like I'm gonna go in the kitchen. I'm gonna wash some dishes make a sandwich maybe in the opposite order Unless they're dirty or red. I don't know and then just go to the computer whenever he Starts yelling whenever Bagel starts yelling and see what the hell he's yelling about. It's one of those you know, it's, 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 it's oh, oh every every bagel video. Okay. Anyway, let's get it started uh, first one lightning Emperor, the dark lightning ever he's super OP People are using them to get a ridiculous uh, scores in the dark rift beast but then not the the rift beasts and r5 he's just ridiculous like basically like almost cheating uh, so this is uh, absorb 10% of attack power and defense. So let's take a look at this. I was re I didn't take a look at all the stuff, but I was ready at least with the uh, the first one. So this is 25% here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just uh, making it only 10%. Now, if it's only on only on bosses though, so it's only nerfing it on bosses. It'll still be super strong in RTA and things like that, but it's only nerfing it on bosses. And then uh, they'll go from there. They'll be like, is this still... Because, I mean, it wasn't like... If you just CC him, then you can CC him, you can kill him before he stacks, you can keep attack age reducing him, you can keep stunning him, etc., etc. I mean, if he starts getting turns and he starts it starts snowballing, then it becomes like, okay, well, GG. Um, but if you don't let him snowball, it doesn't become uh, an issue. So, I mean, he's really, really good, but he is not invincible. Um, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, so nerf for the uh, for the dungeons. Uh, Druid, all touch of punishment, first skill, harmful effect uh, activation rate, fifteen to thirty five percent. Fifteen to thirty five percent. So let's go see. No, that's not that's not the druids. That's not the druids either. This is the stun. Uh, so before it was a stun, fifteen percent chance goes up uh, for five and ten percent for five goes up five and ten percent. I'm just too excited. That's why five and ten percent. So now it's gonna be thirty five goes up 5 uh 10 again very nice gonna be a lot of stuns happening great good druids yes uh but they need more buffs don't they water wind wa uh wild blow okay so let's take a look at the wild blow what it currently is uh wild blow is oh this is the one that everyone was like it does no damage uh recovers 30 percent of the inflicted damage as hp basically like a uh, hits and a set of vampire runes right think about it that that way uh damage based on uh defense so now what does it do? Now it, um, instead attacks the enemy to inflict damage that increases according to your defense, recovers 30% of the inflicted damage as H. What? It's the same thing! It's the same thing. It already says according to defense, but I think it's just in beast form, according to defense. Does that mean just it's based on defense in both forms? Okay. Yeah, it's just according to your defense now, but it already says, like, look, it already says that. But it's just in beast form. It's when using beast form, damage according to your defense. Uh, so anyway. Mm, okay. Uh, Druid Awakened Water Wind. Oh, this is the actual change. Never mind. Uh, recovers 30% in addition using beast of form increased by 20% and then transforms into okay. Oh I was get I don't know why I was getting excited about that. Anyway, uh, on to the next one. <laughs> Dark Druid. Uh, Tax enemy recovers 30% okay, so it's the same thing. Wild Blow uh, is now going to be Tax enemy to inflict damage. I'm, I'm already on the awakened Dark Druid part because uh, it's the same thing. Uh, recovers 30% inflicted damage as HP. Damage increased by 20%. Okay. 
It's nothing. It's nothing. Okay, so Dark Druid. So Druid's second skill uh, for Water, Wind, and Dark. Not anything super exciting. Uh, j this is what we care about, though. Can you guys see? Oh, you can't see my cursor. Okay, so the, the, we're, we're, we're on... Uh, we're on the, the Druid Awakened. Provoke chance. 30 is now 50% chance. Great. This is phenomenal. Which is, this is even one of the things that I said in the what needs to be buffed and, and, and nerfed. Actually, I didn't say what needs to be nerfed. I just said what needs to be buffed. Um, this, the, the, this, is, this is great. Activation rate. It's just a little activation rate tweak. It's not changing the units like super crazy. But it's just an activation rate tweak. Which is great. And which is, I think, uh, definitely... That makes the light one is so good, man. Provoke chance. Oh... Strip Glancing Provoke. I know he's not Gianna, but he's like a little step down. He's so good. You guys don't realize how good the Land Druid is. I mean, I summoned him on the EU server. God, he's so much fun. Yeah, like, it's just that Provoke Chance was stopping him. The, the, the higher the Provoke Chance, the more OP he gets, right? So, Strip, because it's not like Strip and does nothing. It's Strip, Glancing, Provoke. All in the same skill. It's... Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, but anyway, really nice. Provoke chance on everyone. On all the druids. Uh, which is great. Which is fantastic. Um, man, they really, I didn't realize all the druids had provoke. I, th I thought like three of them had provoke. I didn't realize every single one had provoke. Okay. Uh, druid water, druid's wit. Uh, increase your attack bar by 100%. Was increased attack bar by 100% if you had 30. It was basically like a nemesis built-in uh, thing. Um... And now it changes to increase your attack power by 100% if an ally had 30% and the HP. Ooh. So now it's... Even if it's not... Yo, this is really cool. I thought it was cool before, though. To be honest, I thought it was cool before. But if an ally starts taking damage, right? If you are... Let's say you're doing... I know only, like, a third of the people probably that are watching this video do RTA. Let's say you're doing whatever. Guild Wars, RTA... Etc. Etc. Those are the places that I feel that the water druid is most would be most beneficial currently. I was thinking arena defense, but uh, no one seems to be using it for arena defense. Um, so let's say they're attacking. Let's say it's RTA and they're attacking the water, th not the water druid. Let's say they're they're attacking your perna, right? And you have the water druid in there. Uh, they start hitting your perna. Perna goes below thirty percent HP. Water druid increases it, his attack age uh, by hundred percent. Takes the next turn, heals up the Perna. Boom, boom. Perna has been saved. Or whatever. Diana, whoever. Uh, Vertiheal. The people don't even use Perna now. They just do. No, they still use. They still use all that stuff. But it's a, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice thing, right? So it's a nice interruption mechanic. You start, like, the, the, the enemy starts killing your whatever. And he comes in and you can, uh, you can steal a turn, which is great. We know Triana's great uh, because she does that as well. Come in. Steal a turn and heal. Artemiel is great because he comes in, he steals a turn, he heals. Um, so, very nice. Uh, what else do we have? Druid Beast, Form Water, Endurance of Beast. Effect added recovers HP of all allies by 10% every turn. Water, Endurance of Beast. Uh, okay, so when he's in beast form. Here, let's go take a look. When he's in beast form, increase your attack bar 15% whenever you're attacked. Now it's both uh, increases attack bar and, because it's added effect, um, recovers the HP of all allies by 10% every turn. That's nice. Okay. Well, they are buffing the water druid. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, fire druid. Um, where's the fire druid? Oh, I flopped it out. I, I, okay, I didn't flop it out. Um, Druid's agility passive, Druid's proficiency. Okay, so it's just a different name. Uh, increased attack bar by 20% for every turn after an attack. It now absorbs the enemy's attack bar by 15% whenever you attack on your turn. Uh, for the Fire Druid. Okay. So before it was increase your attack bar, and now it is absorb. And it's got the. Oh my god! Hold on! Hold on. Absorbs the enemy's attack power 15% whenever you attack on it. 15%. Okay, it's not it's not as crazy as the fire. I was gonna say it's crazy. I was gonna say he's now the better version of the fire unicorn. Um, it's 60%. Uh, 
it's 60, like if you're going up against four units, it's going to be 15, 15, 15, 15, so it's going to be 60%. But that's still pretty strong. That's still pretty strong. Um, okay. Okay. Um, still very, okay, very, very good, very good. Uh, <laughs> it sounds very scary, I don't know, am I the only one that thinks that sounds very scary? Um, what do we have? Drew Beast form, Nature Beast passive, increase the attack power by... Uh, here we go. Uh, now 100%, and the damage increases for 10% for each harmful effect granted on the Yeah, yeah, and he puts harmful effects on the enemy too. Holy crap, he puts... He puts defense break, attack break, provoke, and stun himself. So it's four that he already puts on. Did they overbuff this fire? Like, I don't know if they overbuffed this fire. I don't know. It feels like they overbuffed this fire druid. I mean, that seems. That seems really good. Increases attack power plus extra. I mean, like, he's just gonna do a tremendous amount of control and a tremendous amount of damage. Like, this is gonna be the season of the. You're gonna see the fire druid. I kinda wanna summon for a fire druid now. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even joking, like, you think, like, oh, Bale, you don't even know, like, yo, I kind of want to summon for a fire druid, I kind of want to, like, save my stones for a fire druid, because he seems, I, I wanted to save him for Helena, but now I'm like, fire druid? Okay. Um, so where are we? We're on wind druid, druid secret, pa uh, secret plan, uh, decreases, oh, jeez, the wind druid was already, people were already using that, though. Well, now they'll use it more. Uh, Wind Druid, Druid Secret Plan. Decreases cooldown time for Arsenal living by two turns whenever it's activated. So, this uh, revives into beast... Did I not even have it? This revives into beast form. 30% uh, HP at the moment of death. And now it reduces... Where are we? Uh, reduces the cooldown time for Arsenal living whenever it's activated. Revive loops, hooray. <laughs> hooray for more revive loops. Uh, next, what do we have? More Wind Druid. Patience of Beast Passive creates a shield proportion to your level for one turn whenever you're attacked. In addition, revives with 15% HP at the moment of death is now revives with 15% HP. Defense increases whenever you get attacked. Accumulates up to five times. Defense increases by 10%. Oh, it's like Artemiel! Oh, great! <laughs> oh, great! It's like Artemiel. Great. They're making him self-revive and revive others and be Artemiel. <laughs> okay, so basically Comptoise is trying to say like, yo, you need the summon for these druids now. Congratulations. Do you not have one? Now you need it. Um, and that, that seems like... That seems like they really, really, really want us to feel like we need these druids. Okay. I mean, yeah. Archangel who? It's poor Archangels. Okay. Light of- oh my goodness, I just glanced at the Light of Freak. Uh, Desert Queen, Dark Desert Queen, Deadly Charm. Previously becomes immune to inability effects, and the enemies can't resist the skill effects you apply on them. Uh, she had four different skill effects. I liked the, 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 uh, the Dark Desert Queen, but a lot of other people didn't like the Dark Desert Queen. Change to increase your skill activation rate by 20%, um, and the enemies can't resist the skill effects you apply on them. So increases your skill activation chance. Here we go, here we go. Um, where is she? So now... Now, this is going to be almost 100% chance to activate. The Curse of the Beautiful. So she lands all three of those debuffs, almost 100% chance, and they cannot resist them. As long as... So it's basically, it's a guaranteed... It's guaranteed with very tiny margin of error, uh, guaranteed uh, three debuffs. HP recovery, defense break, and glancing hit. That's, I mean, I have this on the Light Dark server. It's already good. I really like, I really like the unit. Um, but now she's not going to be immune to inability effects anymore. Uh, so you could still sleep her. So she's just used in a different way. But silence is the target for one turn whenever you attack. So you silence the turn, in addition, you have higher activation rate, but you lose the immune to inability effects. I guess people didn't care about that. Um, I liked it. I, maybe I'm, I guess I'm the only one. I liked her though. Uh, I liked her before. I, I, I guess I'll, you know, I'll still like her. I don't think I'll like her any less. 
now, actually. I'll just like her in a different way. <laughs> I'll like her in a different way. Friends with benefits now? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Light of Free- oh god. I don't want to read any further. Effect add increase your attack power by 30% for each beneficial- Hey, that's nice. I was afraid they were going to completely change it or something. This is nice. So you're basically just buffing my Light Dark server account. Cool. Increases your attack power 30% for each beneficial effect you're granted. This is amazing. This is like anything is an attack power buff. Did you steal a defense buff? You have an attack power buff. This is, I mean, hold on. This is... Yo, people are going to find some OP combos with this, though. If you can, if you, like, let's say you stack six buffs, right? Let's say you stack six buffs. That's 180% increased attack power. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's a tremendous amount. Like, that's just, you just one-shot everything. Like, that's just... You, I mean, you could stack it even more. Let's say you get 10 buffs on it. That's 300% increased attack power. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I mean, you have to set that up, but... Holy crap, that's ridiculous. Like, you just take him into so many more teams than you would take him into. It's just a tremendous amount of increased attack power. Okay. Um, Dark Beast Monk was buffed. Come to us. He is actually listening. Okay. In fact, I removed beneficial effects. 75% Yo, Dark Beast Monk. G G oh, there's no Light Beast Monk. Damn, that's savage. <laughs> that's savage. Okay. Trick of Darkness, though. <sighs> but no Light One. Rip the Light One. I'm glad. You know what? I, I know I'm salty because I have the Light One and not the Dark One. And now the Dark One's just just better. But, um, yeah, just better. Yeah, just better. But at least, at least they're buffing. At least they're changing things that need to be changed. Um, so, Dark Beast Monk, Trick of Darkness, removes beneficial effects 75% chance and blocks them. This is great. This is a great skill now. Okay. This is, this is fantastic. AoE, remove beneficial effects and block beneficial effects. Is he super OP, light dark, nat 5, like triple S tier? No, but it's way better. It's way better. Uh, okay, so what do we have next? Uh, I'm surprised with, like light if we, man, that's that's a really nice, <laughs> that's a really nice buff. Uh, fire, light, jack-o'-lantern, ghost appearance. Uh, let's take a look at what a fire, light, jack-o'-lantern do. Let's take a look at what, what it do. Ghost appearance. Um, so this is... Four hits, 30% chance to land a glancing hit. Damage increases according to attack speed. Uh, so what is this? This is going to... 30% um, chance to cast one rand random effect among increased glancing. Weaken attack power, disturb HP recovery for two turns. Each hit has a 30% chance to cast a random effect. This is nice. This is really... Do you know what this is... He was already good for uh, Necro and R5. I actually built him on my Asia server. I have him built. I didn't, I'm not just saying that because I, like, oh, he, in theory, like, no, I use him. Um, and the twins, of course, now that after the twins came in, they're like, oh, you don't need a lot of this stuff anymore. But he's, he's great for Necro. He's great for, uh, he's great for raids. He's got all these multiple debuffs. So many debuffs, so many debuffs. Um, and then the, the, with the light one as well. L uh, long waiting passive. Let's take a look at the long waiting passive. Um, becomes immune against inability effects. Your attack power increased by 20% for each beneficial effect on you. Now it's going to be speed, right? Attack speed increases proportion to number of beneficial effects. Not attack power. Oh, no, 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 no. Attack power and speed. And he does damage based on speed. Ooh. Oh no that hold on hold on hold on that's totally different that's totally different. Um Attack speed increases proportion to number of harmful effects and attack power increases for, uh, for every beneficial effect. So no matter if you have beneficial or harmful, you're getting buffed in some way. I like the light jack o' lantern. He seems interesting. Like I feel like I would use him if I had him. Not all the time. I mean, he's not true, super top tier unit, but uh, I feel like I would use him like here and there. Um, 
fire, but then again, I'm Juvego, right? Uh, fire Dryad, Flower Fog, previously, oh yeah, here we go, here we go, where is she? Flower Fog was her third skill. Previously attacks all enemies blocks beneficial effects for one turn. It was a fat turd sandwich, this is a Garbo skill. Uh, now, it is going to be, uh, pre uh, attacks all enemies to shorten the time of beneficial effects granted on them by one turn each. Which could be a strip! It could be a strip. If they don't have any beneficial effects, prevents the enemies from gra from gaining beneficial effect for two turns. So now, it's just better. It's just... Is... It's kind you know what, it's kind of like the... It's kind of like a watered-down version of the Dark Beast Monk now. Shorten time of beneficial effects grant on them by one turn each. Remember, if they have if they have one turn invincible uh, immunity, it's now zero. Shorten time of beneficial effects. One turn turns to zero. If they don't have anything on, prevents them from gaining beneficial effects. So it's better. It's just it's just overall better. Uh, wind ride thorn tree passive. Let's take a look at the Thorn Tree Passive. Inflicts continuous damage on the target for one. Oh, this was the nothing that we didn't care about aside from TOA, but we already have a million units for TOA. Um, so now it is... Uh, continuous damage from one turn is now two turns, and if you attack an enemy who already has continuous damage, additional effects con continuous damage. So even more continuous damage. So she just like... Super dot monster crazy rific. She's just gonna do a lot of dots. This is just the TOA hard good TOA hard unit. But it's also hard to skill her up because she's one of the newer units. If you have the skill for her, but um, if you don't have the skill for her. She's just really for TOA, I feel. So she's just going to do a lot. She's kind of like um, like the Water Homunculus, how he attacks and if they already have continuous damage, he does more continuous damage on top of that. And just snowballs it. It's like that. Um, so. But wouldn't you just build the Water Homunculus? Maybe, I feel. Uh, anyway, uh, it's not. It doesn't make me excited to build her, but at least they're at least they're buffing these things, right? They, they made her better, um, so she's more usable. Uh, Sylph, water Sylph hailstorm decrease attack speed for two. The water Tyron, Tyron, Tyron is getting a buff in 2019. Are you kidding me? Tyron is getting a buff in 2019. Here we go. So hailstorm attacks all enemies, freezes them for one turn. Now it's going to also. Uh, decrease attack speed. Freeze and decrease attack speed is actually really good. That extra decrease attack speed for two turns, that's great for TOA, that's great for crowd control. I mean, like, Tyron has been unloved, but he's still a decent unit. He's still not a bad speed lead. And CC. And multi-hits. Right? So. Um, I actually re rebuilt my Tyron. Um, and I was even using him in, uh, in Arena. I didn't do a video on it. I, I could have done I guess I should have done a video, maybe. Clickbait video, water silk. Uh, so, decreases attack speed. Um, there. Didn't he say that they were also doing something else with him? Oh, yeah, they are doing something else with him. Okay. Uh, what else? Fire and Dark Second is Twisted Joy. Stones the target instead is puts the target to sleep for two turns. Twisted Joy. Where is Twisted Joy's the second skill? Right. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't find any of these in the thing. Where's the second? Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, so this was actually a good skill already. Uh, replace up to three beneficial effects, grant the target with stun, increase chance of landing, glancing it, and decrease in defense. Uh, this was already a really good skill. It's just like this last one is like, eh. The first skill is good, the second skill is good. And then this last one is like, actually the leader skill is good too. But you see sometimes people using the, the dark second. It's not really the fire one. Uh, but you've seen people using the dark, or maybe you haven't, but there's been people that have used the dark second uh, in Arena. So this is, instead of, of the stun, it's going to be two turns sleep. Which is good for succubuses combos, but because uh, she doesn't wake anyone up from sleep. But aside from that, it's not super crazy. Um, it's whatever. Uh, brutal end, fire second disaffect added if the enemies under sleep, destroys the enemy eight max. Yo, what? What? Oh, they... Hold on, they buffed the dark one too. I see the dark ones there too. Um, but brutal end... Let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, before, it was just 
the service HP recovery. Now it is also, if it's if they are asleep, it will destroy their max HP by 50% of the damage dealt, which is just a nice little, nice little buff. 2019, nice little buff. Uh, wind Succubus. What else do we have for the Wind Succubus? Uh, or, I mean, what do we have? Previously attacks without waking up the enemy that's under sleep. Attacks random targets five times. Each attack has 50%, 80% chance to inflict continuous damage for three turns. Five hits, continuous damage, right? Attacks without waking under, we, we already know that part. Attacks random targets five times. Enemy who's not under sleep to sleep and deals 50% more damage to target that's under sleep. Five random targets puts them to sleep. So that's this skill. Five random targets puts them to sleep. Random targets. I don't know if that makes me want to use it, honestly. I mean, that, that's not does, doesn't make it a thing from like, oh, don't build this to, oh, build this. Like, no, it's, I still wouldn't build it, but it's nice. And then we have the, uh, we have this one. Because before I actually knew some people that were using her in, um, in Necro, of all things. Because multi-hits and continuous damage. Um, so, very rarely, but I've seen people do it. Uh, Night Hag Scuttle, so that's the third one. If the enemy is under sleep, this attack will deal 50% more damage. So this is not destroy HP, just does 50% more damage if they're already under sleep. Does that make me want to... I mean, like... I might use it because I have Celia, but I don't know that a lot of other people are going to really be building this stuff a ton more. Extra damage is good, but they have to be under sleep, and it's an AoE, so you need an AoE sleep. It's a great, it's a great Hathor combo, right? So we got more Hathor combos. Hooray! That's what we needed. More Hathor combos. Um, anyway. What do we have next? Fire Phantom Thief, Old Grudge. Inc before, it was increase your attack power by 100%. Let's go take a look at it. And it's going to take me forever to find him. Uh, increase your attack, bo attack bar by 50% when the enemy's target is stunned or defeated. Increase your attack power by 100% when your HP is higher than 50%. Now it's going to be... What is it going to be? Increase your attack power by 100% when your HP is higher than 50%. 100% more, now it's going to be 100% more damage to the enemy's tw HP is twice your HP or higher. Oh, that's just better. Okay. Yeah, that's just, because he's always squishy anyway. So, okay. It's just, it's just a better, uh, just a better skill. Uh, Fire Lich. Transcendence passive. Let's go. Fire Lich transcendence passive. Fifteen percent chance. Uh, whenever your enemy, whenever an enemy's turn ends, to activate stealing a turn and increased uh, attack power and crit rate. So now what do we have? Oh my God! I'm already. I feel like I'm, di I'm dying of talking too much. Bago, shut up for a second. Or try not to. Um, passive doesn't activate. Activation rate will be increased. Nice. Yes. That's good. That's they already they keep they buff him every like every few months. Like they buff him every like nine months they buff this fire lich, which is fantastic. Uh, I like it. Okay. That this is kind of like the same treatment as the fire uh, beast hunter. So uh, pretty cool that they buff with like if it doesn't activate, it's got an extra chance to activate next time, and it's got an extra chance to activate next time. Okay, what do we have next? Um, next we oh we already. Uh, we are already on it. End of evolution. Added effect. Increase your attack power and defense by 10% whenever you receive an attack that doesn't land as a crit. So, a lot of people don't know this about the Water Lich, uh, but he actually decreases chances of receiving a critical hit. Now, he's going to additionally uh, increase attack power and defense up to 10 times. Holy crap. This is big. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Attack power and defense 10% whenever you receive an attack that doesn't land as a crit. So, glancing hit, regular attack, anything, increases attack power and defense. Do you know how crazy OP is going to be after that stacks up? This could be very OP. Like, oh my god. 
I feel like you can build him hybrid net, like uh, HP, crit damage, uh, attack, and like good speed. And he's and build him so he could take a few hits at least. I mean, this is this is like Fire Monkey, where like he gets a turn. He's like a Fire Monkey now. I mean, you, you whenever he gets a turn with this, he's gonna be like. Beep, 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 and it's like smack everyone in the face. This is crazy. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna be really. If the match prolongs, he's gonna be really strong. Ooh. Why they gotta make him like the fire monkey? Okay. Um. Yeah, that's that's cool. Martial cat buff. Martial cat buff. Okay. Martial Cat, okay, of course, we go, who called it? I didn't call it, everyone else called it though. Uh, stun Chance is now, for skill, 25% uh, is now 30%. What other Martial Cat buffs are there? Uh, fire and Light Counterattack. Decrease damage you receive by half if you get attacked while counter- Ooh, half damage uh, while you are in counterattack. Very nice. Very nice, actually. Hmm. Decreases damage by half. Not bad. Uh, water, wind, dark, chain attack. So this is a chain attack. Um, now is going to be increases damage by 18%. Okay. They have really good base speed, by the way. 119 base speed is great. Um, fire, destructive punch. Okay, so destructive punch is previously inflicts great damage strength and energy punch reduces the enemy's attack gauge to zero uh now it is going to be proportional to your max hp and destroys the target's max hp oh it doesn't decrease attack gauge to your max hp she's an attack based unit though Destroys max targets max HP. So she's ne is she, are they changing her to HP type? This feels like they would change her to HP type. Is she's a tanky five star uh, th five star? She's tanky three star uh, fire bruiser now instead of a fire DPS unit. They would have to change her type to for her to make sense. Um, okay, so what else we have? Wind Marshall Cat Tiger's appearance passive. Guild War Speed Leader skill, I keep forgetting about this. Gains 25 crit chance for every harmful effect that's on target enemy. Okay, now what is it? Something good? 20% more damage for every harmful effect on the enemy. You could put her and Orion and something else in Guild War defense and like... Maybe kill something, I don't know. Do we build her now though? It's better, but do we build her? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Um, okay, last one. Light Martial Cat, Lonely Fight. Uh, passive. Okay, so before it is, if your HP status is lower than the enemies, your attacks will deal additional damage proportion to your max HP. Now it is, uh, absorbs the attack bar by 20%. If you attack a monster with same or lower HP status compared to yours, recovers your HP by 20% if you attack a monster that has better HP status than yours. I feel like this still doesn't make me want to build them, though. Um, they're buffed, but still doesn't make me want to build them. Some stats will be... Oh, like, uh, okay, here we go, here we go. Fire Martial Cat is now HP type. Good. Light Martial Cat is now HP type. Makes sense. Uh, so tanky bruisers. Uh, weakening effects is monster. No! They changed the light self. Why did you change the light self? What are you doing with your life, man? What are you doing, come to us? What are you doing? Okay. So, my boy, my favorite, Light Self. Uh, if you guys don't know, I love this guy. He is amazing. I use him all the time. I use him every day. I seriously use him every day. Um, okay, so what did they... I'm doing these in the wrong order because the water self is first, but I don't care. Uh, no, fine, we'll do the water self first. Okay, so he... Also, remember, he was buffed with the skill threes now. Decreased attack speed. So now it is... Uh, reduce attack bar by 50% if you attack an under me. So it's the second skill. It's a buff to the second skill. Um, why does it say awakening effects modified? It's the skill modified, though. Um, reduces attack bar, too. 
reduce his attack bar. Now he's like the light one. Why do I need the light one now? <laughs> you don't need the light one, just use Tyron. They're very similar now. So, yeah, so now this is going to decrease attack age. That's nice. Uh, but if it's under decreased attack speed. So. That's still nice, though. I was still... Yeah, it's he's already... A, he, people don't think he's a usable unit. He's still a, us, a usable unit. Um, so, they just... Everyone's got net fives at this point. He's, he's not bad, though. He's not bad. Uh, and then the light one. So light one increases accuracy by 25%. Is now strength and skill. Uh, inflicts damage proportionate to enemy's max HP. So this is now damage based on enemy max HP. It's probably better for arena, but I do like that accuracy. I hope I'm. I hope I don't like stun anything anymore. Now he just needs better runes. He already had good runes. I already put some of my better runes on him, but oh well. Uh, skill level of some monsters will be modified. Oh, you guys can't see that. Okay, it would be smart if I did that. Uh, Desert Queen, Waterfire, Dark Curse, and Beautiful. Harmful effect activation rate is now 15% on level 4, which means it is 100% activation rate. With the Dark One buffed, um, well, I mean, they buffed all of them, right? Now, it's a little tiny buff to all of them, but with the Dark One new uh, passive, that means her harmful effect rate is going to be 100%, right? Uh, so... So that's a guarantee that there's no RNG involved. There's now no RNG in the Dark Desert Queen. She will, she will give the enemy glancing, uh, defense break, uh, heal block, and silence. Because now she has silence. Okay. And then the blue nightmare wind second abyss. No one cares about uh, skill errors. So then, then those these are just bugs, uh, bug fixes. 36 minutes of not shutting up. 36 minutes. The druids are great now. Uh, dru druids are... Man, they buffed the, the butts off these druids. They buffed the Dark Desert Queen. So, you guys can stop complaining. I know you're going to complain again. You're going to complain more. The Light, light of Freed is very exciting looking now. Light of Freed is very exciting looking. I think those are really the biggest ones. I think those are really the b oh and the the liches the fire and water lich, the water lich, the water lich uh, ten times. That's basically he's like a fire he's like fire monkey now. And multi hit random defense breaks with that second skill. Still doesn't have the same base stats as the fire monkey, but um, the water lich is interesting. The light of free is interesting. The druids are all really nice now. Well, nicer. What do you guys what do you guys think about the druids? I know a lot of people have the druids. I have two druids on the same account. I have both druids on my Europe server account. The water one seemed eh. The light one was just like really good and it was like if he gets an extra activation rate, which he got, he's gonna be even better. So uh very exciting. But anyway. Uh, that, that light of free, man. That light of free, potentially, potentially brutal, potentially really, really cool. Uh, oh my god. Okay, anyway, th that's it for this one. I already talked way too much. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited about the monster balancing patch. I think they, I think they listened. And it, oh yeah, the dark beast monk too. Dark beast, good, good news for dark beast monk users, because now you can actually be a Dark Beast Monk user and not just a Dark Beast Monk owner. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you as always in... When is the Han buff for the love of God? No, it's okay. As long as the... It benefits the community as an overall, even if there's no Han buff, I will survive. I will cry in the corner and use my... Celia. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, I can't complain too much. Anyway, that's it for this one. I'll see you as always. I'm really leaving this time in the next one.